Hello people, welcome to the video series where we learn Kotlin by solving hacker rank algorithms challenges. I'm sorry that I haven't posted any videos for a while. I was trying to figure out where and how I should focus and in that period I had to post shooting videos. But now I'll try to create content regularly, let's see how it goes. Okay, in the last video we saw diagonal difference and now let's check out plus minus. Given an array of integers, calculate the ratios of its elements that are positive, negative, and zero. Print a decimal value of each fraction on a new line with six places after the decimal. Okay, so we are given an array and we need to count how many positive numbers, how many negative numbers, and how many zeros in that array. And we need to calculate the ratio by dividing these counts, these numbers, uh, by the size of the array, and then print out the decimal points afterwards. Let's go to IntelliJ IDEA and see how we can do that. I created a main function and the plus minus function we need to implement. So I'm passing an array to this function which has four positive numbers, four negative numbers, and two zeros. So it should calculate 0 0.4, 0 0.4, and 0 0.2. Let's start by creating three different variables for each of the groups. One is the positives, which should start from zero. The second is negatives which again starts from zero. And the last one is zeros. And then if you make a loop and for each number in this array, if you check if this number is greater than zero, then you should increment positive numbers. Else if number is less than zero, then you need to increment negatives by one. And else, this is the last case, so the number is zero here, we need to increment zeros by one. IntelliJ IDEA suggests us to replace this if with when. So let's do that. And also remove the braces from this when entries. When we do that, it looks much more cooler, I think. And at the end, what we can do is to print positives divided by array dot size to, to double. We're also we need to use println. We're using to double here because if we divide an integer into another integer, then the result would be an integer. But we don't want that, we want decimal points. That's why we use doubles. And if you use the same thing for negatives and zeros and run this app, you should see that these are printed. But instead of showing trailing zeros, it just skipped uh, trailing zeros and show the numbers. The numbers shown are mathematically correct and I tried using this solution in HackerRank and HackerRank accepts it because they check if a given number is close enough to uh, the expected number so they don't care if you really print six places after the decimal. But since the question asks it I will go ahead and show you how to format a double or a floating point number into any specific places after the decimal. To do that, I will first simplify this portion here. So this way, the lines are shorter. And then, now, I'm gonna do this. Percent dot 6F. This means 
we want six places after the decimal when formatting a floating point number. This can be a float or a double. You should use F in the string representation. And you should call format on it and then feed this number here into the format function. And that's all. If you do this, you can see that the first printed number has six places after the decimal. So if you go ahead and do that for the others as well, this is a working solution. Let's run this and see all of them are good to go. Okay, that's being said, let's go ahead and see another solution. This time, I won't use a for loop, but instead I'm gonna use the count function on the array. It's not more efficient, it's actually less efficient, but it's, it's not a big deal if your array is short, like this one, like 10 elements or like a thousand elements. It doesn't make a noticeable difference in the performance, but it makes much more difference in the readability of the code. Let's see what I'm talking about. So to calculate the number of positives in a given array or a list, you can use count function with a predicate. This predicate is a condition and you want to count all elements holding this condition. So we want numbers that are greater than zero. It here is the number coming from this array and if we check if it is greater than zero or not. And if it's greater than zero, then we count it, okay? So that way we can count all the numbers that are greater than zero. Also for the negatives, we can use this. And for the zeros, this. Cool, right? And then we can copy this solution here and use that to print our numbers, the ratios in a good format. Let's run this and see if it works. As you can see, this also printed the correct ratios. Okay, that's all for this video. See you in the next one.